Demetrius Erasmus starts off as kind of a rock star, and then Martin Luther comes along, and Martin Luther publishes some things, and Erasmus writes to Luther, and Luther writes back, and they, they end up with like these letters, except that it's not a personal letter. It's an open letter, like an open letter from John Green to. An open letter is one that you write it, and you publish it, a couple thousand copies. You send one autographed copy to the recipient, and you send umpteen thousand copies to everyone else. And so the big ones, Bondage of the Will from Martin Luther, and you may walk around. Um, I don't remember the name of the one that, actually, Okay, Desiderius Erasmus writes a book called The Freedom of the Will, okay, where he says that mankind is a free moral agent, we have the ability to choose. Martin Luther responds back by writing The Bondage of the Will, which obviously the, the, the name of the one is response to the, to the name of the other one. I mean, they, they get into this kind of a relationship where they're going back and forth. So Erasmus and Luther, they're contemporaries. Erasmus is maybe one generation older, and so he has an influence on Luther. Um, then, of course, when Erasmus dies, Luther's already kind of big, and so Luther has a couple other people that have come up to be important. So Erasmus is, is generally considered the leader of a lot of these northern renaissance humanists. Um, the Italian renaissance humanists, the guys down south, focused everything that they could on, on trying to rediscover ancient Greek and Roman learning. And so all kind of pagan, non-Christian stuff is all fair game. So Livy, Cicero, Virgil, these Latin poets, um, anything by Plato and Aristotle, anything by anyone else that's really, really old, dead, and Greek sounding, um, that's who the Italians are going for. But generally speaking, the northern Renaissance humanists like Erasmus, they're trying to fix the problems of the church. They recognize there are a lot of problems in the medieval Catholic church. They're trying to fix it, fix it, fix it. So. Recognizing that at the time the church is 1,500 years old, they want to go back to the original source work. Go figure out what did the earliest Christians actually say about how we are supposed to live, about what we're supposed to do. Uh, and, and it brings up this anthem, uh, the anthem of these northern Renaissance humanists. So imagine you are out hiking in the boondocks, out in the mountains, you're hiking, and you have run out of water. And you come upon a stream. Where on that stream do you want to drink the water from the stream? Down at the bottom or up at the top? I would suggest none of you guys need to go out like hiking in the wilderness with Mr. Doe. Uh, you're going to get very sick. If you go to the bottom, all of the animals that take a crap in the river, that go pee in the river, all of those pollutants are going to flow down. And so if you get to the mouth of a river, the water is filthy. This is why you don't go kayaking in the Santa Ana River. Okay? However, if you want to find the cleanest water possible, you start climbing uphill to where the stream comes out, gushing out of the mountainside. That is where the water is going to be the purest. Okay? The Latin expression is back to the fountain, or the Latin term is ad fontes, which translates directly as, or in context, it translates as back to the fountain. So Erasmus and Sir Thomas More and some of these other people that Luther is around when he is in school, um, they're focused on going back to original, primitive Christian ideas. 
you know, Jerome and Ambrose, and, and even as late as Augustine, um, but people that were, that were writing in the second and third and fourth century, um, they want to go back and figure out what is primitive Christianity supposed to look like. And, and let's get back to this so we can stop focusing on... I'm sorry, I just like... You're, you're, you're funny. She's, she's taking notes. Just like oh, you guys are doing. She's, she's, taking, she's taking notes on you. Oh, hi. Yeah. Okay, so... We're not taking notes. Do you have like a poll or something? A what? Poll. Do I have a poll? Are you guys recording me or what? Oh. I'm recording. Okay. Yeah, let's be real. You're never going to watch that.